Hi Taurus, how are you guys doing? Welcome to your reading. This is Pretty Intuitive back with another one. This is your love reading, okay? This will resonate for uh, other placements in Taurus, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Alrighty Taurus, so let's see what is coming to you in love. This is going to be a bonus reading. I will be pulling some channel messages towards the end to see what your love interest wants to tell you. Also, Taurus, my birthday is next Friday. I am an Aquarius. If any of you would be so generous and kind to make that day special for me, if you want to get something for me, um, I will have my um, Amazon wish list posted down in the comment section, or you can look at the community tab. If any of you want to be a typical money-making generous Taurus, thank you guys. <laughs> All right, Taurus, let's see what we have for you. What's coming to Taurus in love? What's coming to Taurus in love, Taurus? Oh, okay, Taurus. So you do have attraction, okay? And it's saying to make the effort, okay? Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take very soon. Very soon. So apparently you are attracted to one another. This person's very attracted to you. Okay, and something is happening very soon. All right. Taurus. Are these cards upside down? I think they are. I don't actually know that. Just that one. Okay. All right. What is coming to Taurus and love, please? Taurus. Okay, so you're pulling the similar reading as Gemini. Yeah. <laughs> this is similar energy uh, to Gemini. Um, you may be connecting with a Gemini or another Taurus or a Libra or a Virgo, Moon Rising Venus, or an Aquarius. You know, the Empress came out for Aquarius reading. But, okay, some of you, this may be someone that you are married to. If you guys are not married, you see this person as someone that you can marry. They see you as someone they can marry. That's for sure. Okay. Um, I'm definitely hearing the word effort. Effort. Someone's going to be making some effort here for you, Taurus. I have a reason to believe for some of you this person really wasn't, though, in the past. Maybe the recent past. Some of you this person probably um ghosted you. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this person wasn't bringing it, okay? They were not bringing it like a true empress should be treated. Male or female doesn't matter. The empress is someone of value. They see you as someone with value, someone they want to invest in, someone they could have, um, you know, a family which settle down, have a marriage. That's what they ultimately want with you, Taurus, and they don't want to lose you. Wow. So if this person didn't see your worth before, or for some of you, maybe they just... I don't know. They probably didn't know your worth, but at the same time, it feels like they just were just, they weren't opening up. Okay. Somebody wasn't opening up in the situation. Someone was just acting like this. Where can you get by acting like this? Okay. There's a need to like be open with their time, your affection, you know, um, maybe someone wants more time. Maybe somebody just, like I said, just wants more effort. So spirit is saying, especially for my Taurus men out here, like I'm hearing Spirit is really encourage you to make more effort for this person. You know, I'm hearing if you're in a relationship, maybe you could be getting, things could be getting mundane and you're just kind of like taking this person for granted. So spirit is nudging you, whoever this person is, apparently they seem like you, you really value this person. Okay. You value them. You see worth in them and you see a future. But at the same time, um, if this is you, Taurus, you know, okay. I'm getting for some of you, maybe there maybe has been some financial issues. So maybe you kind of worry about like not being able to provide this person or give them what they need. But I feel like this person's willing to grow with you. They're willing to evolve with you. I feel like the person in question cares about you a lot. They're definitely very into you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> And for my Taurus women out there, this person's very into you. I do feel like sometimes they kind of like 
get in their mind about some of them they get in their mind about not being able to like give you everything right now because maybe they are um still working on financial matters and whatever but they're gonna do what they can though because i feel like their want for you is very strong so if there is someone who's been breadcrumbing you guys just understand they're not gonna be breadcrumbing you for much longer okay somebody here is gonna be way more generous with you this person and they're doing that because at the end of the day they see you as someone they want to marry or settle down with or if you guys were already married, they see you, they 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 want to uh, renew your relationship. Okay, because they're starting, not starting, but sometimes, yeah, in relationships you can get comfortable and you end up whatever. But I feel like this person wants to make effort. Okay, um, you have coins in the situation, so yeah. The night nights show up when it's time for action. It's time to come with it. So this person's gonna come with it here, Taurus. Okay. They will. And if you wonder, like, what is this person's intentions with me? What do they want? They want you. They want you, and they are serious about you. And they are serious about um having a life with you. They are. You have the four of wands and the ace of pentacles, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of pentacles, and I love when pentacles show up because it means, yes, there's definitely longevity in the situation, okay? Like, I feel like this is someone that you could spend your life with, but again, the magician is reminding you, like, hey, if you want this or you want to keep this, you you know, how this turns out depends on you. You got to put the work in, you know, you got to court this person or you got to do X, Y, and Z. Okay, I feel like for some of you, this person does have a fear of losing you. And they don't want to lose you. Okay. Um, so because their fear of losing you is so strong, I feel like they're going to come with it. Okay. Yep. Some of you I'm getting this person was moving very slowly towards you. And it's like, maybe you got frustrated with them and you gave them an ultimatum. You're like, look, I'm not going to keep going at a snail's place. It's either you want this or you don't. Come with it, show me, or just get the freak out of my face. Simple as that. So with you doing that, Taurus, um, it's putting this person in the hot seat. They're like, okay, I got to um, put up or shut up. It's simple, okay? So yeah, I do feel like this person wants a relationship with you. Um, some of you, this could be getting back together, rebuilding your relationship, or... If not, like I said, Taurus, for sure, this person wants a relationship with you. So don't be surprised if they come towards you talking about a relationship. Okay, this person does not want to lose you at all. And I feel like for some of you, the reality could be setting in that they could lose you if they don't step it up. Okay, because the Empress is someone that is high value. It's someone who, you know what I'm saying, um... Is in high demand in every damn season. Because the Empress just has so much to offer, literally. that She's a divine feminine. You could be dealing with your twin flame, okay? Divine feminine, divine masculine here. But I do see a gesture from somebody, okay? I do. This person is, is, is afraid of, uh, as hell of losing you. So again, you may be dealing with... Um, an earth sign. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Another Taurus like yourself. Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio. Yeah, I'm getting that too. Okay. So let's see, uh, Taurus, what messages you need to know about this love situation because again you know it just feels like um you see so much worth in this person and this person sees so much worth in you so that's why it's saying make the effort you know how you know how is this going to work if you're not making the effort to you know court this person or you're not making the effort to um you know step it up for this person that's all they want you to do is just to step it up Okay, 
Um, and like I said, that's a very specific message. I feel like that's more for the Taurus men out there. Okay, I'm just going to say that. Um, you see someone that's wife material. You want them. Whatever your reservations are, you know, you got to step it up. You got to let them know. Because I feel like someone has a strong fear of losing somebody. And you might lose this person if you don't step it up. It's simple. Okay. All right. So you have happy ever after. So this is even someone that, you know, they know you guys can be happy ever after. You know, they want that with you. Yeah, this person wants to spend their life with you. And you probably want to spend your life with this person too. Okay. Um, and you have happy family. So look at all these cards of happy, happy, happy. Like... This is somebody who um, wants to spend their life with you and they want to settle down. That's what they want. Period. You know, if you guys um, have children together or if you guys are already in a relationship, they want to renew the relationship by not taking you for granted and stepping up. That's what they're going to do. Okay. Point blank, period. They don't want to lose you. That's what I feel. Um, and if this person has been, like I said, closed off or... Um, whatever i just feel like they're gonna feel that pressure they will they're gonna start to feel it and um before you know it before you know it this, this freak is definitely gonna step it on up okay all right taurus let's see what does this person want to say to taurus some of these cards are like flipped over okay so this person says i want to know how you feel okay so if you haven't told them you need to step up tell this person okay or maybe this is your energy you want to know how this person feels okay how would you know if you don't ask this person says don't be afraid of me okay taurus maybe you're afraid of this person maybe you're just Look, I don't want to give my time to someone who's going to take me for granted or hurt me or they ain't coming with nothing. No, this this person is definitely coming with something here, Taurus. So if you're questioning their motives or their intentions, don't, okay? Because they're serious. Whenever you see the Empress, it's about seriousness, okay? They do want to invest in you. Um, you have, you're so beautiful. So this person finds you very beautiful, okay? You have so much power over me. I hate it, okay? All right. All right. So you have wife um, and husband material. So like I said, they see it. They know it. They know it. Let me come to you. Okay. So this person may either want you to let them come to you. Okay. Or this person, if you haven't came to them, Taurus, and you are a male, this person wants you to come to them. Come and get them. It's simple. So the thing about the Empress is the Empress is not going to get up for no freak. Okay. The, <laughs> the Empress is not going to like, because you got to understand the Empress wants assertive energy because she's feminine. Okay. And the energy that she's carrying, she wants masculine. So masculine is going to come and get her. Okay. Period. So you have ready when you are. So this person says that they're ready when you are. Okay. You stay on my mind. Someone could be hiding some um, insecurities. Okay. There could be insecurities around money. You have money issues. Maybe this is someone that, again, you know, you want to give this person everything, but maybe you're a bit limited right now. Okay. Um, but I don't think this person is going to just, like, judge you for that. They just want to see effort of something. Okay. Um I want to grow old with you. So this is someone who's, they're dead serious. If they say they want to grow old with you, that means that they're not planning to go any goddamn where, okay? All these cards are flipped over. Okay, so this person says pure loving intentions. That's all they have. Taurus, be afraid of this freak, okay? Um... You are special to me, and you can put your trust in me, okay? Look what's at the bottom of the deck. They say, I want you to chase me. So, again, I feel like that's more for the masculine energy. The feminine energy is telling you that um, they want you to chase them. They want you to come and get them, okay? They're not going to come and get you. 
They're just not going to do that. You want me? Come and get me. But anyway, yeah, overall, somebody in this connection definitely does have a fear of losing their empress. Hmm. Okay. Well, you got to work for what you want, is what I will say. All right, so let me pull these um, cards for you, Taurus, and I'm going to let you guys go. Taurus. <clears throat> Okay, Taurus, so it says, hmm, so someone in this connection says, I can't be bothered with anything else right now. I'm dealing with a lot of life issues. So this person could be dealing with life issues. Again, I, it could be financial um, or you could be. But at the same time, I think someone's desire for the other person is like driving them to want to at least, it's like you don't know until you try, like just make an effort. That's all this person wants, okay? This person says, uh, someone says, I worry that I'm not good enough for you. I've been in abusive relationships before. Oh, that's, that's really sad. But yeah, so someone could have been in abusive relationships before to where, you know, they just have a lot of reservations about their capabilities. It's not like they just don't think they're worth shit or capable, but um, it's like they've been with maybe ungrateful people in the past or they've been talked about or some shit okay you see someone says i want to give you everything and more that's why i've been quiet and staying away i don't want to ruin things with you so this person probably gives you bits and pieces taurus because um or someone gives the other person's bits and pieces not because they just you know don't want to um this person has a deep you know deep love for you and deep respect for you but it's also because they feel like if they're just like talking to you in constant communication knowing that they're not in like a good financial place then boom it's like they don't want to risk losing you because of that but either way you're gonna lose a person if you don't freaking tell them something but yeah <laughs> someone says i picture you in a wedding dress and us getting married i really want this forever okay so this person's definitely um very very sure about you okay very soon, I will come towards you with so much passion. I can't deny these feelings. I want to show you off. I want the world to know just how much I love you. So, I mean, this person does want to give you everything. We know that for sure. So, it's up to you. But um, even if this person ghosted you or you haven't heard from them, I feel like this person is definitely going to come back, okay, and make more of an effort with you. But again... This offer may take a little bit, you know, time to manifest. Aces are not quick. Um, but I just feel like this person would, like, try to give you their word that they're trying to be better for you. Or they're just, they they do want this. Okay, Taurus. All right. And this person wants you, won't you? They sure do. Okay. And there is something about them, like, wanting to have children with you, okay? Anyways, so that is what I have for you, Taurus. Where are my cards? Thank you for being here with me, guys. I hope this reading um, gave you the answers, the clarity that you're looking for. Please hit the like button. It does support my channel and my business. All right, I will talk to you guys soon.